Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing a Sephora haul. Now, I have a little secret to share. Believe it or not, this is my very first Sephora purchase. I know. I bet that I'm the only girl on planet Earth that has never stepped foot in Sephora until today. Uh, the reason is, obviously, I own the product. It's just a purchase them from department stores such as Bloomingdale's, Macy's, Nordstrom, and I did purchase from Ulta. And the reason that I got the opportunity to visit Sephora is because they were holding their, I think it was called VIP Rooch. Uh, they were offering 20% to their VIP members. Now, obviously I wasn't a VIP member nor a member, uh, but a friend was kind enough to share her pass with me. Um, so I decided to go to Sephora and let me tell you, I fell in love. It was just makeup heaven. Imagine a kid walking into a candy store, but except it was makeup. And I just, I loved it. So without any further delay, let me show you what I got. Now the first thing that I got is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and that is the Modern Renaissance palette and I heard a lot of good things about this um, And of course I heard a lot of good things about Anastasia Beverly Hills Mind you, this is also my very first Anastasia product I've heard them all over social media Instagram YouTube, but I finally needed to get my hands on it and try it for myself And let me tell you I did get a chance to play around with it earlier today and I'm just in love. Um, let me show you. Ooh. I think I dropped some packaging, but how gorgeous is the coloring on this? The pigmentation on this is just amazing. Now, like I said, I, I own a lot of luxury brands. By luxury brand, I mean like Dior, Chanel, Gucci, just because I worked in that kind of retail environment, so I got the discount, so I was used to purchasing that high-end product for less. Um, but the quality is not even compared to how amazing Anastasia is, you know? And really, really fell in love with it. Pigmentation, again, is amazing. The color on here is a little outside of my comfort zone. You got some burgundies, um, but I'm kind of excited to go ahead and try it, nevertheless. But um, Really, really excited so far. The second item that I got is also by Anastasia, but this is the Master Palette by Mario. Again, the hype on this on social media was insane. YouTube, Instagram was all over this. So I was like, you know what, let me give it a try. And this by far, I have to say, I'm just dropping here stuff left and right. Um, but anyways, as you can see, I've played around with it already and I'm just in love like this is probably one of my favorite palettes or eyeshadow that I own um, and when I discovered Anastasia and her quality and her product is just impeccable I'm a true fan and I love and this palette is right up my comfort zone because it has really really comfortable nude and natural colors um, and I'm really, really come to playing around with, with the nudes and the natural colors. Um, you do see some olive tone here that I absolutely love. Um, but I'm really, really excited for this. And I think this is a palette that I will be using quite a lot. Uh, and I already kind of have, but really, really excited for it. Now, the third product I got is also Anastasia. Love her stuff so far is the contour kit um again heard amazing things about it on social media um as you guys can see i really really love to listen to reviews on youtube because it's the best way to get to know a product um anyways this i needed to try and it's the contour light to medium and that is it i believe look at the gorgeous 
really, really gorgeous tones for us to play around with. Um, we have some yellow here, some dark tones here. Now, I'm really used to using cream, sort of like cream shadows or cream kit to contour. So the fact that this is in a powder form is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me, but I am excited to try it. Um, I think these are perfect to use as like a highlight. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to give it a try and like I said, go outside of my comfort zone when it comes to makeup and try different brands. And let me tell you, Anastasia, you have stolen my heart. The fourth item that I got is a brand that I'm very familiarized with and that I already own quite a few um, eyeshadow palettes. But I wanted to give this particular palette a try because, I don't know, I just figured, you know what? I have the 20%, let me give it a try and see how I love it. And that is the Tartel in Bloom. I do own the first um, Tarte palette and I figured I'll give this a try. And I am absolutely in love with the color choice in here. Again, right up my alley, you've got your neutrals your nude colors, and I wear nothing but matte eyeshadow, so the fact that this has a choice of shimmer and matte is it's perfect for someone like me. Now, the other item that I got is my very first product from Hourglass. Again, this trip to Sephora was really fun because I told myself I'm gonna go outside my comfort zone when it comes to makeup products and try brands that I'm not familiarized with. Uh, that was Anastasia and the second brand that I didn't have was Hourglass. Let me see if I can open it. So I did purchase the um, foundation stick, I believe it is. It's the Venice Seamless Finish Foundation Stick and the color is Warm Beige. Now this I bought because um, Dulce Candy and I'm sure you all know Dulce Candy. Like who doesn't love Dulce Candy? Um, she was using this in one of her videos and I decided to give it a try because me and Dulce do have the same skin tone so when she recommended this being the best foundation on planet earth, you bet that this girl went and bought it. And I have given it a try, I don't know how I'm liking it, um, but I only tried it once so I'm gonna use it you know, a few more times before I give my final statement for this because I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I hope I do. So I did end up getting a lipstick also by Urban Decay. Now I'm very familiarized with Urban Decay and I love their products also. Um, I thought they made the best eyeshadow until I discovered Anastasia. So Anastasia definitely stole my heart, but Urban Decay, don't you worry, I still love you. But it's my first time trying an Urban Decay lipstick, so cute packaging, by the way. Good job, Urban Decay. Um, I got the color, which color did I get? I can't read. I got the color Carnal, and it's a comfort um, matte color. Let me see if I can get it out. And again, I'm such a sucker for packaging, and I am in love. Really, really cute packaging. Um, the color on this, let me see if I can do a swatch. Um, just to look at and describe it, it's more like a nude, I won't say peachy, but like a really, really nude kind of brown. Um, and that's mostly what I wear if I'm not dressed up, but this is the swatch. Now, last but not the least, I got this Sephora favorite um, lash stash gift set. The reason I got this, number one, I was in need of a mascara. Um, and I originally wanted to get the YSL mascara. Now, YSL mascara at department stores, correct me if I'm wrong, is usually around $30. Either close, under, or a little over. Um, so when I saw this whole gift set be $45 and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mascara sizes. Um, ten mascaras. That I was just like, what a steal. So I did get the Baby Doll YSL 
full-size mascara that was included in the gift set as well as this full size, which I'm not quite sure what brand this is. Oh, it's Estee. The Estee Edit, but I believe it's from Estee Lauder. Um, but it comes with two full size mascaras and all the rest are sample sizes, which regardless, still a good use. This also makes an amazing, amazing gift. The fact that you have to pay $30 for one mascara, but you get all of this sort of for the price of one is amazing so I, I think I'm hooked have mascara for life now I believe we have obviously the YSA you have the benefit they are real the Tarte um, I can't see what this is oh the Too Faced Better Than Sex then we have Urban Decay Perversion um, honestly it looks like a full size but I think it's um, it's a sample size this is a NARS if I'm not wrong this is a Smashbox. Then we have um, Bobbi Brown Mascara, a Boxum, and this must be Estee Lauder if I'm not wrong, but I will correct myself if I am wrong. Again, that was the haul. I should say my very first haul from Sephora. Really excited to play around with these. If you guys want to see makeup tutorials, on any of the palettes that I got, please comment down below because I am ready to just play around with these and I might as well film it. Um, but again, thank you so, so much for tuning in. And for those of you who have made it this far, I have a little secret to share with you. Because I am such a fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills and the fact that I've never tried their products and I'm glad that I did because I'm so in love, I want to give away this palette so I bought an extra modern renaissance palette to give away to you guys one lucky winner is all yours hopefully it's someone out there that either loves Anastasia but didn't get a chance to purchase it or someone like me who has never tried it before would love to try it this is your chance how can I win this modern renaissance palette very simple, all you have to be is a subscriber, of course, and comment down below simply saying, hey Zara, I will like the palette. And I would randomly select and the palette is all yours. Now the most important thing is, unfortunately, this is US only. Um, the only reason I'm making this US only is because my previous giveaway uh, when I did the Zara perfume giveaway, it was international and the winners were international and I had such a hard time um, sending out liquids. They wouldn't let me send out liquids out of the country, but I still managed to, you know, send it out. Um, but they really gave me a hard time, so this time I don't want to go, um, you know, some difficulty sending it out. I know it's a palette. But I am going to keep it only US, but don't worry, my next giveaway will be international. Uh, but again, don't forget to comment down below to be entered in the giveaway. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Bye guys.